Hypocrites. Let's talk about hypocrites. Now, in the definition, hypocrisy is when what you do and what you say don't match or the intention in your heart. You know, it's when you say one thing, but really, really, you mean something else. Now, for those who have a question, are there hypocrites in the church? Yes. Have there been hypocrites in the church before? Yes. Will there be, con uh, would there be hypocrites in the church even in the future? Yes. It's simple as that. There are imperfect people in the church. There are people who are going to hurt us in the church. There are people who are not always going to do what we want them to do in the church. Why? Because wherever there is people, there is sin. Wherever there is sin, there is flaws and weakness and we fail each other because we don't look or we're not fully everything that Christ wants us to be. And I know for some of you, you have left the church because you have seen hate instead of love, judgment instead of acceptance. What you have experienced did not reflect God. And I know that that is not a, a, an excuse that I'm trying to give. But what I'm trying to tell you is that those who are in the church are a work in progress. It's just that sometimes we lose it along the way. We, we think we have arrived. We forget that salvation is a journey. We forget that looking like Jesus is a transformation that takes place daily, every day. And when we stop growing, we start judging. When we stop looking like Christ, we start looking at the flaws of others. And I know some of you don't even come to church because you feel like I'm a weak, I'm weak. I'm a sinner, uh, my life is not perfect, but it's okay because even Jesus says, let those who are weary and tired come to me because Jesus is the one who actually not only gives us full life, but changes from a sinner to a saint. But I'm trying to tell you that becoming a saint does not mean that you become perfect. It just means that you are working with perfection who is Jesus Christ. And I know. The church has changed. It does not look like Christ. But I want to tell you that not everybody that you have experienced in the church is the same. So you can't stereotype and say that everybody is the same. Yeah, there are those experiences that hurt. Those in the church who are supposed to pray for you and they gossip about you. Those who are supposed to carry you and don't care about you. And it hurts because when you go in the church, you have these high expectations of what Christians are supposed to be. They are supposed to be better. They are supposed to have no sin, no mistakes. But let me ask you, in your family, when your family hurts you, do you leave them? When your friends hurt you today and tomorrow they come and apologize, do you forgive them? See, the thing is like every one that we have in our lives disappoint us in one way or another, but it doesn't mean that we give up on them. It just means that they made a mistake, but we expect them to do better tomorrow. I'm not standing here to defend every church on this earth. I'm here to tell you that don't go away from God because of the experience that people have given you in the name of God. Don't leave Christ because of what Christians have made you experience. You didn't experience love, you didn't experience mercy and compassion and therefore you think that that's what God is. God is not that. We go to church because we are sick and we need guidance from God every single day. We go to church to grow. We go to church because we know that I am nothing without Christ. There is hypocrisy in the church because wherever there is people, there is brokenness. Wherever there is brokenness, there is sin. Wherever there is sin, there is pride. Whenever there is pride, there is division. There is hypocrisy in the church because there is hypocrisy in business. There is hypocrisy in entertainment. There is hypocrisy everywhere you're going to go. Wherever there is people, there will always be those people who are going to hurt you. There will always be those people who tell you one thing, but they do something else. And I know that some of you 
have been hurt by the church. You have wanted to be accepted, but you have always been judged. And whenever you walk in the church, there is always that look you get of someone judging you because of your look or someone wondering, why are you here? I know where you were last night and I know that that hurts. And I know that there is no excuse and I'm not trying to defend it. What I'm trying to tell you is don't let the hypocrites that you have experienced make you think that every Christian is the same. Don't let every experience you have had with one church make you think that every church is the same. Because we are not all the same. Not all the Christians, we are the same. We, every church is not the same. Don't take one experience and say that every Christian is judgmental and condemning and hurtful. Yes, there are those that you're going to experience. Yes, they will be there. Because even when you go out and you go to the bar or you go in the nightclub, even the people that you experience are hypocrites. Even when you go out in the club, you will have the same people that you experience everywhere you go because people are not perfect. And sometimes the reason why we even get very hurt in church is because we have tendency to have high expectations of how the church should be, of how the church should handle us, of what they should do for us. And I know that when our expectations are not met, we get so hurt that we shut out. We shut out everybody. We stop having an experience with God because of the experience we have had with people using the name of God. But I want to ask you to not give up on God because people have given up on you. To not give up on your relationship with God because someone has hurt you using the name of God. And I know that some of you have had experiences that are hurtful. And some have made you even question, what's the point of church? The point of church is, is that we grow together, we become better. But there are, some place that have, there are some people that have stopped growing in the church. And because they have stopped growing, they have become hurtful. Because they have stopped growing, they have become hurtful, judgmental. And that hurts. That the people who are supposed to love you the way the Bible says it, the people who are supposed to show you what the heart of God looks like, have not done it. And I'm not trying to say that it's an excuse. Trust me, I'm not defending it. But what I'm trying to tell you and ask you and beg you to hear me when I say this, please don't give up on the church because of one experience we had had with one church. Don't stereotype all of us pastors that we are all the same the pastors we all love money and we are all greedy and we're all prideful and we're all arrogant please don't put all of us preachers and think that all we care about is ourselves our glory our power and that we don't care about you yes there are those that are there like that and there are those that we don't represent god and there are those that are looking for their own fame than the glory of God. You, we may have experienced them and maybe you will experience them, but please hear me that they don't represent the kingdom of God. They don't represent the heart of God. So don't give up on God. Don't give up on your relationship with God because some people will make you think that you are now worth it. Some people will make you think that God does not care about you. Some people will make you think that you don't deserve you don't deserve to come in the church. But let me tell you, you deserve to come in the church. Everybody deserves to come in the church because God loves everyone. God loves the ones who come to church every Sunday. And God loves the ones who are still trying to find out who they are in Christ. God loves even the sinners. God is thirsting to have a relationship with you and it may be hard for you to have a relationship because religion has caused division for so many years <laughs> for so many years religion has caused division yes religion has not always done good things and positive things but don't give up on God because of the failures of man don't close your heart from experiencing the love of God because you have experienced the hate from men. 
Men are imperfect. Men are hurtful. Just like your family. There are days you have disagreements because you are not the same. Sometimes you have disagreement with your parents. Sometimes you have disagreement with your friends. Sometimes you fight even with your siblings. Does that mean that you don't love each other? No. You can't always live in harmony with everyone. And even with Christians, it's the same. Remember that we're all sinners who've been loved by grace, who've been received by mercy, and who've been changed by God's love. And that experience that I have had with God, I want everybody to have it. But I know that for some people, they have used their spiritual growth to have spiritual arrogance. They, they, they don't allow you to be yourself. They don't allow you to make mistakes. They don't allow you to grow. See, some people go in the church, but they don't go there to change. They go there to just have a community to just be in. And some, the church is just a club, but truly the church is where we understand that I can do it through Christ who strengthens me. I can have my brothers and sisters who pray for me. When I'm weak, they will carry me. That's what the true church is supposed to do. But sometimes, because we fall short, because we are broken, because we are sinners, we don't always love the way we should love. We don't always forgive the way we should forgive. So I'm here telling you that, yes, for those who say that I don't go to church because of the hypocrites that are in the church, I'm also here to give you some hot tea. They are hypocrites in the nightclub, but you still go though. They are hypocrites in business, in your workplace, in your family. Hypocrites are everywhere. But you still go to the club, but you still go to work, but you still live with your family. We can't stereotype that everyone is the same. So don't put every church, every Christian in the same experience, in the same stereotype box that you have. But mostly, don't shut God out because of the failures of men. But yeah, yeah, and you may feel judged and you don't feel like you deserve to be in the church. You deserve a relationship with God. You deserve the love of God. You truly deserve it. But don't let those who, who sin differently from you make you feel like you don't deserve to come in the presence of God. God always says that he wants a relationship with everyone. That is why he sent his one and only son to die on the cross. So whoever believes in him shall have eternal life. That includes you and that includes everyone. He wants a relationship with everyone. But don't let someone who sin less than you make you think that you're more of a sinner, that you deserve to be on the cross and they don't deserve to be on it. We should all be on the cross. The reason why we're not there is because of His grace. So today, God wants you to know He wants a relationship with you. You will experience hypocrites, but don't let them push you away from God.